everybody, um, it's Jackie Hayes speaking and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator um, in WA and um, I'd like to show you my cards that I'm doing today and it, it, I'm not doing this one but I'll show it yet anyway. This is Beautiful You and it's got Bermuda Bay and lovely lipstick and balmy blue and i just put a little bit on the inside and i like this um it's watercolor technique and it's reflections and if you see this bit this is reflection in the water so the one i'm doing today for you is this one and it's from beautiful moments and i've just put a bit inside as well the Beautiful Moments is the, uh, a new stamp set that I've not used before, but I really do like it. It comes with three, um, three images and three, four images, sorry, and three um, sayings. No, there's, there's more than four. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, there's quite a few. <laughs> seven, I think it is. Seven images. I I picked this one because it's got the the water and the girls with the the buckets, and it's usually girls that does that. So we'll get started, and I'm using Bermuda Bay, and that's that is a for scored at ten and a half and then a centre piece which is ten uh, fourteen and a half by ten we've got a lovely lipstick which unfortunately is going out and I do like this one um, it goes out on the 2nd of June and this one is cut at sorry um nine and a half by 14 and then we've got watercolor paper and the reason why i'm using watercolor paper is because we're going to use a water water pen and um different technique i'll show you how to do that and this one is cut at nine by nine and a half by 14 and we'll keep that one separate first i'm got a piece of acetate and this has actually come out of my stamp -a -jig, um box but it works really well for this I don't use a stamp -a jig because I didn't get on with it but now I've got the Stamparatus and that is amazing so I'm using uh, Memento Black to start with And it's the little girls with the bucket. Put plenty on it because it, with it being a thick card. I'm going to stamp it quite a way up because I want to get the image at the bottom as well. So there's the first image and then the second image is this has got a rough and a smooth side I'm going to use a smooth side of it but instead of stamping it the same way I'm going to stamp it upside down and that's going to be on the smooth side of this acetate and keep it so it doesn't slide just press as hard as you can so you get all the image so there's my image and then turn it upside down again and using a bone folder you're going to match the legs up and rub as hard as you can with this using the bone folder um, found this way is the easiest one uh, 
that should be it. Yep, that's okay. And that's the image upside down for you. So that, that's how you do a reflection. And we'll start, I'll just clean this off, otherwise it won't come off. To leave an imprint. And I'm using the chamois because with it being memento ink, it comes off quite easy with the chamois. <laughs> that over there on one side and I'm going to stamp the inside as well while I've got this on me my stamp set me stamp black ink as well and I don't want all of the legs but I do want the bucket and that's that just pop I might just do the the inside I put um, on the outside I put collect beautiful moments and on the inside um, you're somebody's blessing Straighten it up a little bit. And that's perfect. If you wanted to make sure you got that really straight, which I have, thank goodness, um, you can use a stamparatus and that makes it easier. But I was just being a little bit lazy today. Wipe these off while I'm got this in my hand. The chamois when you're using that is the best thing because all you have to do, you don't have to spray anything in it. When it gets a bit dirty, just wash it under the cold tap and um, and you're ready to go again. Right, I'm going to do a red dress for one of them and what I've done with this is the ordinary ink pad a bit grotty at the moment just squeeze it as hard as you can and you'll find then it comes in the lid and that gives you plenty to play with um, I don't fold the lid down because obviously I want I want to use this little bit so I'm squeezing some a little bit of water. Don't want a lot to start with, but with it being water paint, water paper, you can go over it. And once, once it's dried, so then you've got it as dark as you want it. But if you if it, you think it's not dark enough. You can go over it again and you can keep going over it the water pen is just a pen that you you unscrew and the water fills up in there and when you squeeze it water comes out of it it's just like a paintbrush but a lot easier i'm just going over that top bit because i'm not happy I wanted it a little bit darker and I'm going to do a lighter one so I'll pick up just a little bit of the paint on the side hard to tell where it is where the dress is but And I'm just going to colour that bucket in, in the red, so it made it opposite. I'll just go over that bit again. I want to address a little bit darker than that. Yep. 
the best way to do the the other dress is turn it round and do it that way around and don't forget the bucket in that one is red as well and when you're just done with the colours you just wipe it off on a tissue or a, a cloth but I've just shown you how to do that bit but I'm going to do the red on the um, on the inside as well just a little bit of red on that one and pick up a little bit more the the inside is not watercolor paper so it won't flow as easy with this one as what it does with the watercolour paper. That is, is lovely for doing this sort of thing. Right, I think I've just about done with that. So I'll fold that one up. And I'm going to take um, the Bermuda Bay. Squashed it enough. So it's Bermuda Bay. I'll just do the inside while I've got this paper on. And just keep picking it up if you want it a little bit darker or you want it a, a, a light colour. You just don't pick up as much. It's so simple, but I want a dark bucket. Just a little bit more dark. So there's, there's the two girls and that's the inside finished now as far as that goes. I'm going to just do turn this round and do the the dresses on these. And I wish you ladies could I wish I got smelly video and because my house smells absolutely beautiful. My husband's been baking and it smells gorgeous. It's gluten free so I can have some, which makes a change. Normally it's not. So that's, I'll just do the bucket. And this dress, turn it round. And I hope you'll all try this at home because it's such a nice way of relaxing and at the moment I think people need to relax a little bit and just take the minds off everything that's going off in the world now my next step is I'm going to Use Barmy Blue. Just press that one as well. Yep, got plenty on that one. And picking up that, I want plenty of water on this one. So I'll squeeze the water into it. And this one is the reflection on the bottom.
I haven't done their faces or I haven't done that bucket <laughs> or their hair because I think it's just just as nice without doing it I'll just fill that bucket in while I've got the, this brush in my hand that's better a little bit more I'll make it a little bit darker I'll clean that off and just pick up some more and this is going to be the sky With the sky you can make it as dark as you like it looks as as if i've run it all into one which i have um but that's because i wanted the reflection of the sky as well now next just let that dry a, a fraction and squeeze my brush out onto my tissue paper fold that one up And I've got um, some birds, and they're from the same uh, same set, Beautiful You. And there's two on a stamp. Um, we'll put on three bits so that you've got one, two, um, on falling off the so there's your sky the next little bit then is that's my lid for my ink I've lost my lid for my water pen must be somewhere oh it's there in the card put that on one side now I've got um, another saying collect beautiful moments and I will put this on the bottom and I'm not raising that up I just wanted to make it so that the, lay, the girls stand out more than the saying if you raise it up then that means the saying is more important but I didn't think it was with this one now to assemble it it's just um, it's just a case of using the Tombow glue for the centre which is ordinary card just whisper white card okay I don't think there was any in it. And pop that in the centre. And while you're making cards, you can always jungle up, ju jumble up your, your colours. You don't have to stick to um, like black and white or pink and red. I've used Bermuda Bay with the lovely lipstick and I think it works really well. Um, a lot of people might not like it, but to me, if you jumble the colours up before you start, you'll get a, an idea of what colour goes with what. And I, at first, I wouldn't have thought that these two would have gone together until I put them together. 
Now I'm not going to use um, Tombow glue for this because this is a thick card for um, for the watercolour card and it is stamping up one but I'm going to use tear and tape which is an extra strong tape so I'm going to put that on make sure it's stuck and all you have to do is stick it on and tear it and that's why it's called tear and tape put that on one side and I'm make sure it's really firm down I'm going to use my pick, pick me up tool and fold that back just to halfway and then if you don't get it dead right you haven't got to pull all your card off and it won't tear your card underneath but hopefully I'll get mine straight so pick that up and and just tear the tags off and you're happy with it and press it down and there's the finished card it's not a long one today but that was really easy and it shows you don't have to do a complicated card to get a beautiful effect and hopefully you'll give it a try and just let me know how you go on I will email them out to, to my email addresses and see how what comes back but right, have a lovely afternoon and stay safe and stay well okay bye for now see you tomorrow